How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to our gold mining empire in Gold Rush the game. Now, maybe empire is a little bit too big of a word right now. We're not too crazy into the game yet, but today, hopefully, that's going to change. If you see, I did a lot of gold mining off recording, and you can see by the big hole over here. We have 686 grams of gold to our name, and what I hope we can do today is get the mobile wash plant set up. That way we're not doing so much manual labor, because don't get me wrong, digging dirt and putting it into the machine is fun, but I want to play with heavy machinery, damn it. And today, with that 686 gold, or sorry, grams of gold, uh, we should be able to buy the next tier of upgrades. So I figured we'd just finish up this last pan. Uh, I obviously have been doing a lot off recording, and just to be fully transparent, I did put on the gold nugget option, where you randomly find gold nuggets, which makes this game way easier. It's actually on by default. I recommend if you want a hard simulation experience, you turn that off. Uh, but I did want to get through this system as quickly as possible because we probably don't want 15 episodes of me digging in the dirt. But yeah, I figured we'd just end off this final run here. I'm at 80% and uh, I just realized I ran out of gas, which is why I brought this over here. Uh, so let's fill this thing up and go to the bank, sell some gold and buy some heavy equipment because we're going to be buying lots of that today. Is this already on? Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't have to restart it or anything. Getting so deep into this, I feel like I'm digging my own grave. It's almost, if I go close to it, we've almost dug, I would say, six feet down. We're probably about six feet tall, so we probably dug about five feet down. So even with this simple spade, we have moved quite a bit of dirt, but with an excavator, this is going to take seconds to do, which is why I'm so excited for today. We should be able to push a lot more dirt through these systems, therefore earning a lot more money in gold. All right, and there we go. We're fully 100%. Uh, let's wash this stuff, see how much we get. I'm hoping we can at least get to 700, which we definitely should be able to do. And I don't see how that shouldn't be able to afford our next system. So we'll turn this off to save gas. And yeah, yeah, let's wash this stuff up. All right, looking like we had some pretty good pay dirt this time. Uh, this probably alone will be close to the uh, 700 grams that we need. To be fair, I don't need how no, I don't know how many grams we're going to need, but 700 should make it. Uh, very easy to afford everything. Uh, worst case, we should be able to get a pretty good loan as well now, uh, which of course we will try and pay back as quickly as possible. But I don't think we're going to need that because, yeah, even with this first pan, we're hitting pretty much that 700. All right, and it's looking like we ended off with a pretty good yield, obviously way more than the 700 that I wanted, which I expected because uh, we were, what, 20, 10 or 20 grams away, so that's... Uh, Pretty easy to get with a full run. So I think that's pretty much everything. It looks good. I'm just going to clear that. And yeah, let's go see how much 739 grams of gold is worth. I'm excited because it's always fun, fun to buy things in this game. So we'll just uh, clear this out because we're probably going to have to buy a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll make our way into Haynes. Uh, Gabe, you want to load? No. Oh my, what the heck? No. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the load times in this game are laughable at best. So let's just let's just give the game a second. There we go. New sale in town. Oh, I can't afford a dump truck. What the hell, game? You're just you're just teasing me now. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to sell this guy some gold again, or can we do it all? No, as you can see, I uh, do not have enough. Let's actually, how much is gold worth right now? Can we see right now? Forty percent of gold price. Well, at least I know how much I'm losing now when I sell to him. I'm gonna sell him. Oh, Fifty nine's a lot, actually. I want to sell as little as I can. So 30 grams. There we go. Now, hopefully, that should give me enough money to smelt this whole thing. Close, but still... Oh, man, this is frustrating. I really need a little bit of money in the bank so I don't have to deal with this. There we go. That should be enough, I'm hoping. All right, so now what can we smelt? Uh, there we go. 567 grams. So I did actually sell a lot of the gold to do this. God, the smelting process is way more expensive now. Probably smart. Uh, you know, any, anything to make this game more difficult, uh, is pretty exciting, as always. Can I actually open this? Oh my god, I have to troubleshoot my vehicle now? I should probably turn this old boy off, because I don't want this thing breaking down on me. It's actually a really important piece of machinery. But yes, as you can see, this is what this game's gonna kinda be like now. We actually have to exchange parts, fuel filter, it looks like. Uh, I don't think we have to go too deep into, uh, like, mechanics in this game, but some basic maintenance items are going to be needed. All right, and Blacksmith McGee is done, so I just got to exit this, and I should have a big gold bar. It actually doesn't look that much bigger than the other one. I guess it does, actually. Uh, does it actually say the size on it? It just says 18 ounces. 
Is that what it would actually be? Because we're in grams. I, I, I don't know. I actually still have 112 grams of gold. So is that like the max I can do in one bar? Or did it like... Why? I'm so confused. Why Why would you not let me do more? Well, we, we can come back here and grab the money. For right now, we don't need to spend the big bucks anyways because we're not buying the excavator yet. I don't think we're going to need everything right now in terms of money. So, sorry about your car, bud. Let's go over to the bank, sell this one gold bar. Did I put it in the car? I really hope I put it in the car. I think you can just sell it anyways. You don't have to, have to actually hold it, which feels a little weird to me, but probably a good thing because I would definitely lose that piece of gold if that wasn't the case. All right, let's see how we can do today. That is not as good as yesterday, damn it. <laughs> okay, well, at least we're going to earn lots more money today. And look at that, 21 grand in the bank. Okay, so we are going to sell that. There we go. Oh, I should have checked the... Oh, of course. I really should have checked the price. I mean, it's not going to change too much. It's 4286 to 4251 on this graph, so I probably lost 100 bucks or so. All right, but 21 grand actually doesn't feel like that much, so I might need to get a loan here. Uh, or we're not going to be able to get the whole process, because i got to get the magnetite separator, too. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of things we have to transfer today. And I'm, I'm really hoping we get the whole thing set up. That's the whole point of this, obviously. So first of all, let's see how big, how much the machine is. And that is it right here. So six grand, not as bad as I thought, actually. And that's going to be the majority of it. Now, the magnetite separator, that's, that, yeah, that is this. 2,800, we are going to actually need that. So we may as well buy it now. Uh, we're going to add that. Now, the other things that I think we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need a couple more hoses. I know we're going to need more buckets because we need three for this system alone. So we'll just buy three more. Can't hurt to have a few more buckets lying around. Low voltage power cable. Probably smart to have. Now, I think we're going to need the bigger hoses as well. So we're going to get a couple of these guys. Again, we're going to need all these anyway, so it doesn't hurt to go overboard. And it just makes sense to go overboard because we're just going to come back here if we don't. Uh, I wonder, do we need the high voltage? No, we don't need the high voltage till later on. Maybe a power splitter might be smart, but I don't think we're going to need that right now. And we are going to be tight for money, so let's not run the risk. Only other thing I could really use is uh, maybe another generator. I would actually like the electric water pump as well. That'd be fun to use. I've never actually used that thing. Um, I know how to work these ones, so let's just play it safe. I don't think we need another one, actually, though. So let's go see how much the excavator is going to be. I also should have my other piece of gold, and then we'll come back and just check out here. Okay, not going to be as much of a profit. It's so weird that I still have, like, 40 grams of gold. Oh, I actually I have to go get my gold bar. That's right. I can't just let good old blacksmith bro bring it over to me. I actually have to go grab it. So I guess we'll just, being that we're going to be passing the excavator anyways, let's go see how much that is. Because I got about 10 grand at the other store. So if this is 12, I'm going to be a happy boy. Where Where is the very small excavator? Uh, so that's the driller. I guess, is this the, no, that's the big excavator. There's the little guy right there. 16 grand? This is going to be close. I am going to have to get a loan, I think. All right, so we got another 50 gram bar here, I believe. He should be done, right? I didn't see the message, but yeah, he's done. So we just got to grab that now. Like I said, I still have 46 grams of gold. So why does it do this? What is it? This is weird. All right, I'll just wait here. We're going to need all the money I can get, so it shouldn't take him long to smelt this one. Okay, and there we go. So that's officially all my gold smelted. Don't know why I couldn't do it in one bar, but hey, he's clearly a picky blacksmith or something. That was really weird, actually. Okay, and let's sell these bad boys. Yeah, I'm actually underwhelmed with how much I can sell these for. So I think we are going to need to get a loan uh, because, well, actually, it might be extremely close. Let's see. Okay, we can get a really good loan now. So the bank, the way it works now, because for when I play this game... You could get, like, a million-dollar loan right at the start of the game. Looks like now you have to earn the bank's trust by, you know, storing a bit of money. And the more money you store, it looks like the higher the loan you can get. So that's good. Why did I... What am I doing? I need to fill my truck. I don't know why I left my truck at the bank. All right, so let's see the damage of what we spent now. And uh, if it's under 10, we should be okay. We might not even need to get a loan. I really hope we don't need to get a loan. What is this? 9,000? Oh, man, this is going to be real close. I don't know if I have to get anything else. We're going to take this order right now. I'm going to quickly go through here. Um, oh, actually, we're going to need mats, won't we? Or does this thing not use mats? It's been, oh, no, it goes into the bucket, so we don't even need miner's moss. There's actually a really nice journal that explains everything, so I should probably use that. Uh, small excavator. Is there anything I'm forgetting? 
cables, hoses, three buckets, magnetite separator. So it looks like I got pretty much everything. Mobile wash plant. Yeah, okay, so yeah, we should be good. I'm not seeing anything that I'm missing. I'm gonna buy maybe just a couple more cables, just because I always like having more than what, what I need. And it's always just good to have them around, because I tend to lose them anyways. All right, so that should be good. Now, before I purchase that, let's actually store this thing. Look at it! It's beautiful. This is going to be so much better than the way we've been doing it. I'm so excited. Let's actually just back up this truck. <laughs> I forgot to put on the e-brake. Oh, I just pulled off something. Okay. So it looks like we got to do repair on even the small engines. That's great. Are you going to stay in there? Oh, man. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, man. Oh, no. I forgot to put the e-brake on. No! Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I, I got to do this. Oh, e-brake. E okay. All right, so how are we doing for gas? Yeah, we definitely want to fill up. Actually, maybe I should get... Oh, that's something else I'm going to need. Gonna need a couple more jerry cans, being that we have all these small engines. We're gonna need some more gas, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to buy two of these. Of course, this has taken me all day, and it's already turning nighttime, so... This is going to be great, dealing with, uh, driving back in the middle of the night, probably, by the time we fuel up this thing. And, uh, buy the excavator as well. So, yeah. Uh, we should be able to turn on the lights, at least, but that's not gonna really help us too much. Alright, so I need to get a little bit of a loan. I'd like to have a little bit of money in the bank anyways, just in case I need to buy any upgrades. So we're going to do that real quick. And again, we should be able to pay off this loan extremely quickly once we get this set off. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to get about 10 grand, I think. I guess I could just fill all the small engines right here. This is great. This doesn't feel safe at all. Like, filling all these engines in the weirdest placements. It doesn't look like you need to open the caps either, so this is nice. Uh, so yeah, we're going to quickly... Can we hit that one over there? Hell yeah, we can. And let's get back on the road, or should I say off-road, because technically where we go, there's actually no roads. <laughs> oh, uh, this is going to be fun taking this heavy equipment there. Ooh, I'm not very good with, with trailers as well. All right, so now we got to... Oh, there's a paint shop now? I think I vaguely remember that. I'm not going to worry about painting just yet. We're going to have to check out and then transport. So we're going to order that. There we go. Your, tra your machine is ready to transport. So now we go over to Mr. Transport window, and we go to the or old Arnold parcel. Now, we can only have one big machinery up here, so this is all we can have until we upgrade it, which we're not going to do right now because we don't need to worry about that. Wow, 15 to 1,500 transport co cost. You're, like, seriously two minutes down the road. You could drive it there. It's really not going to be that hard with that thing. It's got tank treads on it. I mean, hell, can I have the option to drive it? it I, I really wish I did have the option because I would just save that 1500 but I guess we can't and it should be there now all right and it's a little dark but it's going to be uh, much brighter in a couple minutes here now I do have to pay uh, for this thing because I'm renting this property he takes part of the gold so it looks like uh, it says I earned 53 grams of gold today I guess that was the gold that I extracted earlier today yeah that would make sense um, very little pay dirt but still He's got to make his money, so there goes the majority of our money right there. We have to earn money today so we can pay off this damn loan. All right, so I'm just going to get in here. I'm going to drive out there and see where we want to place this thing. That's the great thing about the mobile wash plant is we don't need to go to it. We can take it to where the gold is. So, yeah, I might even drive right down here. The only thing I need is a water source, and I believe there is a water source the other side of this. I could be wrong on that. We actually might need some hose connectors. I didn't think about that if there isn't any water over here. Yeah, they definitely added all this because before there used to be a little river here, I believe. Looks like there's a logging camp now. Oh man, I don't know if there's going to be any water sources. So that means I gotta, I'm gotta, i going to need extensions or we're going to have to travel a lot with the excavator, which would be an absolutely dumb idea. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to have to do that as well. Ooh, ground's a lot more rocky now too. Uh, when I last played it, this was all basically flat. Okay, let's not dump the truck. I'm trying to turn around here. So we're going to have to, I'm thinking, actually just go over here maybe. Because the water is, oh my god, this is going to be so far away. So yeah, I think I'm just going to park it right here. Kind of on this flat ground. There's a mine here now too. Can I actually explore that? I'm, I'm very curious. Okay, so let's just set it up here. We can move it if we absolutely need to, but this should actually be okay. So we got... Uh, switch on, power, so let's set up the power first, I guess. We're gonna need that generator. We'll just throw this guy down over here. Did I fill that up? I did fill it up, and we have cables somewhere in here, so we're just gonna drop these things over here. We will organize later. All right, throw the buckets down. That's where the gold comes out. That's where all the good stuff is. I think there's also... 
I know I need three buckets, so I think the other two are for the magnetite separator. Yeah, that would make sense because that uses two buckets. All right, so we attach that to that and bring this over here. Oh, no. It's the bigger cable. Well, damn it! I bought the wrong cable. This this is going to happen a lot to start. It's hard to remember everything that you need. So we got a small cable. We, we needed the damn big one. Yep. That right there. Really? There's no big attachments on this? Did I just throw that through the earth? I, th I think it's there. Um, yeah. Little hoses? I'm surprised. I thought with this bigger piece of machinery, we need the big ones. But I guess, technically, this is still very much a small operation. Uh, but that's good to know, because I would have bought the big attachment, and I would have been a very unhappy camper if that was the case. I see the water over there, though, and we're going to need so many attachments. 22 out of 30 meters. I should be able to go further. Come on. Come on. Let's get as much feed as feedage as we can. All right, that's as far as it wants to go, I guess. I don't even know how many I should buy, because I don't want to go back, and I, I'm going to need, like, one more. So let's empty this, get a sit rep of the situation. So we need big cable, lots more hoses, and attachments for those hoses as well. And then I guess we can just actually maybe even use the generator that's all the way over there and connect to that one. That's probably my, be my best bet. All right, we have an absolute mess here. Let's get back and buy what we need. Okay, so $40 a hose. We're gonna buy five of those bad boys. We also need the thin hose connector. Oh man, $520 worth of these. I'm gonna buy six just to play it safe. We can always sell these back if we do need to. Is that everything I needed? What else did I need? Oh yeah, big cord. Good thing I remembered that. Uh, cause I don't think we have another one there. I can't believe we need the big cord. That's so weird. Okay, now I got a full truck of hoses. I never thought I'd say that in this game, but yeah, that's pretty much a full bed. Great. I sh hopefully shouldn't need any more of these ever. Okay, now for the great hose creation that I have to do. This is so weird that they don't have that river there anymore. Maybe it is there and I'm just blind. That could be the case, that's for sure. But we're just going to do it this way. It wasn't really that much money, thankfully. And we still have such a ways to go. I really hope this is enough. I'm getting worried that maybe it isn't, though, because, yeah, these things only go 30 meters, and they don't even like to do that. Now, let's make sure this is all working good, though. So we have a connector here. We can put multiples on this if we want to, obviously. Only need one right now, though. So if we press this button on, this thing should hopefully start moving. I think i got to press a button here. Yeah, there we go. Now all we need is the water. We got the energy. Just need the water. Okay. So clearly these hoses are... <laughs> Not accurate at all. I was like, this one feels a lot longer than the other one. We went 36 out of 30 meters. That is a good deal of a hose. For some reason, that one was much longer. I'm not going to complain, though, because now, as you can see, I think we're definitely going to make it, because uh should be one or two more at the most. No, we were so close. Come on, little, little guy. You can do it. Just got to make it. I mean, I guess I could technically move this over to the other side. That's what we'll do. There we go. We still have the filter on this, so we don't need to do anything about that. That goes into the inn. And let's just test this. So we'll pump it. Zero liters per minute. That's not a good sign. I wonder if I have to turn it on, though. So let's just see what happens when we go turn on the rest of the system. Okay, is water going through? Yes, it is. Okay, we are ready to rock and roll, I believe. Only other thing we got to do is make the magnetite separator set up. Um, that's going to use electric, so we will actually put this up here and set that up later. I'm more excited to actually get to moving dirt, so let's do that. We got the bucket there. That's all we need, I believe. I hope it doesn't matter that this is that this is angled. I hope it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. We'll find out, though. Let's get in that big old excavator. Actually, it's technically a small excavator, but it's big to me. Oh, man, this is, this is giving me flashbacks. This is probably going to take a little bit of a learning curve. These things are not easy to control, so this should be fun. All right, so we have operator mode. Like, look at this. This is crazy. All right, let's just turn it on. There we go. How much gas do we got in this thing? It doesn't say, so I guess we'll find out when it runs out. Parking brake on. Oh, yes. I love heavy, heavy machinery. All right, looks like they gave me half a tank of fuel. Couldn't fill it up for the money that I paid for this? I guess not. That's one thing we're gonna need though, is with the big gas tank now. Imagine trying to fill this up with jerry cans. That would be that would be a challenge to say the least. Uh, so yeah, we got we gotta work on buying some of the uh, side upgrades that we're gonna need now. Mobile generators are gonna be good. The big units, because we just have the basic ones right now, they don't last very long at all. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on gases as well. Uh, make sure the system is continuously running. Now I also assume this is not the best ground. You generally want it to go, want to go to the middle, but. 
this should be a quick way to get a lot of dirt in as quickly as possible. So let's get it done. And do I remember how to use this? Oh my god, it's all coming back to me. I don't even need to look at the list. Wait, do, do I got it? How do I open it? Yep, I remember that. Oh dude, I got it. I have done so much digging in this game. I just remember how. Okay. And... Oh, oh, maybe you gotta extend it a little bit. I'm trying to remember which one that is. There's just so many controls. There we go! We're doing the dirt though. 1% already done. And this is so much better than a spade. <laughs> oh, I love it. This game, there's just something special about gold mining, man. And this game does it perfectly because it's, there's so much attention to detail here. Now, I'm going to miss some of this dirt, but as long as we get most of it in there, it's all good. So now we just uh, put a lot of dirt through this, and hopefully by the end of this, we'll have a crap load of gold. So far, so good. It's actually really cool to watch the different size pieces going through this machine. Even these these starting machines uh, can kind of show you how they work. And uh, you can see at the front, when I drop this in, for example, you'll see some of the bigger rocks coming out, and then it goes more refined at the middle, and then basically water and dirt at the back. So I just I just love looking at the machinery of this stuff because it's really really cool. But yeah, we're about 59% done our first run. As you can see, we're pushing a lot more dirt as compared to our old system. Uh, so hopefully we should be able to get a decent yield here because if we could pay off my loan today, I'd be very happy. Then we can focus on profits and focus on getting some upgrades to our system without having to worry about that damn loan. And already my fuel is low. So I guess, I don't know if we'll get to 100% before this thing runs out of fuel. It seems like since I last played, they definitely increased the uh, fuel output, so we're going to have to get some sort of fuel system in here. I think the only thing we can buy is that giant fuel tank. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of money, and i got to pay off this loan before I get another loan, so I really hope I can afford that. Because uh, if we don't have fuel on our excavator, we are not making money, and I do not want to bring a million jerry cans here just to fill this thing up. All right, who's going to win? The gold output or the gas? I am on fumes basically right now. We've moved a lot of dirt as you can actually see. Fortunately, uh, a little hard to see right now. It is a little bit overcast. Uh, also, as you can see, I hit bedrock as well. So we definitely want to move this further in uh, next time we set this thing up because, well, that's where the gold's going to generally be anyways. Uh, this probably won't be an amazing yield, but it'll be a good first experience here. And, uh, well, we couldn't, we didn't have much of a choice unless we wanted to run a lot of hoses. But, yeah, it looks like we made it. Just enough gas to do 100%. That should be 100% right there, I'm assuming. So we're going to shut this bad boy off. And... Yeah, let's go see how much gold we actually earn. I want to see how much did we actually dig. It's hard to tell when I'm actually in there. You can't really see very well right now, unfortunately. But yeah, we moved a lot of dirt. And we used over half of our gas as well. So we'll shut these systems off for right now because we don't actually need them on. Well, I'm going to need the magnetite separator, but we're going to set that up. And yeah, let's see how much gold we actually got out of the ground here. I hope we had we got lucky and had a decent spot of ground but, uh, but in my opinion, the gold's gonna be deeper down, so we're probably not gonna earn too much today. All right, so we're definitely gonna need some more gas for everything in our next setup, so we'll have to keep a mental note of that. I guess we can just drive this back. But yeah, you know what? I, I, I need some light here. We should probably buy some of those lights. I know, I know you can buy lights for your uh, mine. Right now, we're just gonna use what we have at our disposal, which is my lighting. And we're gonna try and set up this bad boy. So it's been a while since I last used this. Uh, I think it's pretty basic. Oh, we actually do need a water connection, don't we? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's good. We already have a water connection here, so no big deal. We're just going to move this a little bit closer. All right. So we'll do the old switcheroo. Put that. And, of course, we need the little cable now. So this is why you have both cables. Where and there I she is. Okay. Let's try this again. Little cable goes in. Little cable goes in. Oh, don't knock it over. Oh. And that's where the good stuff is. So what do we do here? We put the gold... And dirt. Oh, yeah, we actually just need two empty buckets, and it's going to separate it for us. That's how this thing works. Okay, so I turned back on the generator. Or, sorry, the uh, fuel pump. Turning back on the generator, so we should have water movement now when I press this start button. There we go. Now, how this thing works is pretty cool. Uh, basically, that, that film there that you can see moving around is magnetic. So all the magnetic particles inside the gold will be separated from the actual good stuff. And at the end, we should have a lot of gold in the golden bucket. So take the good yield, throw it in the top, 
And now we just wait for it to do its thing. So put that back there so I don't forget. That would be awful to, to mine with a, without a bucket there. And, well, there we go. As you can see, the gold yield is very lacking where we currently are. Ah, and it finished processing. So technically we could run a few more of these through this, which we probably should. Oh, actually, is that the dirt? No, it says 100% dirt, 1% gold, yet the bucket, it looks like it's all gold. So I'm very confused. I'm not gonna complain if I, I have the big bucket of gold. All right, so let's go see how good this yield is. I'm just gonna walk over. We still have to pan for the gold. There is systems where we can actually have that automated as well, which makes life way easier, because I'm always worried I'm gonna lose a lot of gold here. But this shouldn't be too difficult, so we should be okay. Now it is gonna be a little dark over here though. Oh, maybe I should have shut off my systems. That's right. We're going to need to buy gas anyways. Okay, but let's see the yield here. I don't know if it's actually going to be much different compared to the old way. Uh, I assume it should have a little bit more in it. But again, it all comes down to your placement. And I feel like that place was not the best for gold. Definitely seeing some bigger gold nuggets in there. Once again, uh, sorry about the lighting, guys. Actually, maybe we should move this somewhere else so you guys can actually see. I'm seeing some real large nuggets, though. So this, oh yeah, this is this is addicting. This game, because the better your upgrades, the more gold you get, and you just want to get more and more, man. Once you get a taste of that sweet yellow goodness, you want all of it out of the ground. And look at that, we're at 30 grams in one pan. We have four pans to do with this bucket, probably. Not bad for half a day of work. By the time I was done uh, extracting, it was about midday, so we'll probably get this done by the end of the day. You know what? Let's actually just wait till daytime. So you guys can actually see so we're just gonna drop the rest of this in here because that's all bad and it's a really bad day as you can see too it's been storming for the mo most of it which makes it really dark and hard to see and i hate that okay well that's a bad sign i don't know what battery um did he just take some of my gold he did take some of my gold damn it maybe i shouldn't have done that because he wouldn't have took my took my gold but i do like to see in this damn game and i'm sure you guys do as well so we had about 38 or 39 i believe and we're down to 25 now because uh the guy i own or that owns this land is pretty greedy it seems like but now we can see and you can see the size of these things there we go every time i wash there's just a little bit more gold in there in that oh, dude it's just like all gold this is such a better system all right, I think that's pretty much it. Water's not really turning dirty anymore, and look at the size of these things. They are crazy big. There we go. It's like three to two grams every one of these things. And another pan done. Look at that. The thing is actually full with gold. That is a good day. And what are we at? We're at, we're at the negative in money. I just noticed that. That's going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, 62 grams of gold so far, and we maybe have two more. Oh, hey, that's the wrong one. Is that all of it? No, we actually do have four, so we should probably get close to 100, I think. And we're definitely going to get 100 because that one pan got us 98. What the hell? That was a really good pan, I guess. Okay, and that should be it, though. So over 100 grams of gold on top of the taxes that I had to pay. That is, uh, that's actually really decent. I'm going to be curious how much we're actually going to get out of this. All right, this pan looks like the worst pan yet. Don't get me wrong, it's a very nice looking pan, but... I'm probably only going to get 20 to 30 in here, so uh, can't complain with that, though. Now, the downside is I have to pay to smelt my gold bar. That means I need to pay off this negative balance that I have. So I'm going to spend a lot of money and a lot of gold loss just uh, trying to get back out of the negative here, which is really why I didn't want to get a loan. Because if, I, can get, if I, I get stuck in the negative, I'm going to have a really hard time in this game. So paying off those loans are going to be really important to me and yeah it's looking like it's just about 30 grams as i assumed but yeah can't complain when you get um uh, i would say about 150 grams of gold uh excluding the uh little bit that my landowner took so there we go 135 is the official total let's get out of here let's not pan anymore no i don't want to do that thank you thank don't don't nope there down and yeah let's go back to town and see what we earned so also, this magnetite, this is what we actually use to uh, purchase upgrades now, I believe. I think you can also sell the magnetite to that factory over there for a profit, if I do remember. Uh, but yeah, we use that stuff for upgrades, so we definitely want to keep that. Uh, and yeah, we'll just slowly fill up that bin, and when that bin's filled, we'll see if we can uh, sell it to upgrade some of our stuff. And this is our battery problem. Okay, of course. I was wondering what battery it was talking about. Of course it's it's in my car, so what the... Uh-oh. Uh 
no, let's put that back. Put, put that back. What? No, I don't want to. I want to break this already. So I, now I need to buy a battery as well. Great. All right. Well, thankfully in this game I can actually. Is this gonna restore me back to the? Oh, no. I gotta restore it back. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to go back. I don't think to the actual town. So I actually do gotta walk. I think. Wow. This is gonna be fun. All right, maybe if I buy a new battery, I can just swap it out. I don't know, but unfortunately, I legit have to walk here. Oh, fast travel. Wait, what? Fast travel what? Why would you put that sign there and not tell me anything else? Like, what? Oh. Oh, you bastard. Okay. <laughs> Gotta buy this for 200 grand? God, man. I mean, I understand that it's profitable to be gold mining, but you guys are just murdering me with these prices right now. I'm legit walking through the wilderness. All right, hopefully there's no bears out here. Okay, just out of curiosity, how much is the... That's the water tank. Where's the... Oh, there it is over there. I think that's one anyways. Mobile field tank. Okay, so it's four grand. I thought it was a little more than that. Also, this is brand new. Look at the size of this light system you can get. That is crazy. So what I think I'm going to do, there is an option in this game. And just to be totally honest with you guys, if we go to game here, and I think down in the bottom... Actually, here it is. Everything costs $1. You can enable that... I guess I can't because I'm playing on hard mode. Really? God. Okay, so I, I didn't realize that I, uh, I'm i not playing on easy, so I guess I can't turn that on now. <laughs> okay. Well, do I go back to using my spade then? Because that is actually quite profitable, and that might be what I have to do. You know what, guys? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do here. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll have to go back and just get a jerry can. We actually have a, a jerry can full of gas. And go back to our old system, as sad as that is. Uh, but if we turn on gold nugget fine, it actually isn't too bad to earn a lot of gold really quickly. Also, the stock's awful right now anyway, so I want to wait till I sell my gold, obviously, to a better time. So I think I'm just going to keep my gold. How much money do if we do, do, do the math here? So technically, about a half a day of gold mining gave us a little over five grand worth of gold. Pretty damn good if you ask me. Unfortunately, now... I'm just in the hole a little bit of money and struggling a little bit. So yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know on how I could pay off this loan. I think I'm just going to go back and, you know, spade the ground a little bit and earn as much money as quickly as possible. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, checking out the mobile wash plant. Obviously, in the next episode, we'll probably buy another cool piece of machinery, have some fun with it, and that's probably how I'm going to do this. Also, I think what I'll do is live stream some of the collection process because I do edit out so much of that. So if you guys do like watching just the simple aspect of collecting the dirt and extracting it into gold, uh, check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dragas. I stream every Friday and we will probably be doing some of that this Friday uh, so we can pay off this loan and not be in the negative anymore. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for walking and... <laughs> walking and liking. Sorry, I'm so used to walking now. Watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.